would love messages from I would love any messages from spirit in regard to venturing out into the single world. I feel like a failure in regard to relationships is this karmic thank you. So the situation with the relationship that you're exiting is just it's just it's an end of a cycle. It's not a judgment thing. It's not a bad thing where you did something wrong or he did something wrong or maybe something happened that was wrong, but it was just a natural ending of a phase. And of course, you know, you're talking to a woman who's been married three times. So, I mean, I'm married in the 20s, married in the 30s, married in the 40s. I've been, I mean, and I've entered into cycles and I've exited those cycles. And I was brave enough to say, cycle is over. You know, a lot of people never end the cycle and they stay in relationships until they die. And they were supposed to sort of cycle out of that and into a different relationship or into a different experience. And so I feel nothing but good about this for you. All of the stuff that you're imposing on yourself with regard to uh, judgment, uh, not working out, this failing again, this, this is a pattern for you. That's the kind of thinking, my dear, that attracts more of the same into the life. And so you need to start seeing yourself in a different way. You need to start seeing yourself and being, remember, feeling and being are one. Was that what he said? What did, he, what did Neville say? Oh, Believing and being. Believing and being are one. So anything that you believe, Christ said, if you believe it's possible, you will have it. But to believe it is being it. So for you, the work is in being it. Being the highest version of yourself. Being the most attractive partner and worthy partner to a new and exciting man to come. Being the utmost for the highest and being the energy of that. You don't just believe that about yourself because believing it is being it. Walking around the world with that. And so to the extent that you have these scripts and these narratives that tell you that you failed, that you this ended, that marriages shouldn't end, like let that go. Seasons change. How many of you are old enough to remember that? Expose, y'all. Seasons change. They're supposed to. We're supposed to go from spring into summer, summer into fall. It's when we resist change, when we say no to change, that we start getting ourselves into stagnancy and into trouble. So Hooray to you. Big ups to you for being brave enough to leave a situation when the season changed. And what happens when the season changes? Well, the other is ushered in. And each season has its own beauty. Am I right? Spring is so beautiful. That's our season right now. And the flowers and the rains and the storms. So cool. And then we enter into summer and the, the warmth. And maybe you have a pool or the ocean or the hiking or the barbecues. I mean, that's a cool, that's a cool season. But then that one turns over into autumn, which is my favorite season, where we get pumpkin patches and, and cider and we get to dress up and have parties and it's so fun and all the trees change and the earth is just so colorful and then that one trips over into winter which okay that might be my favorite season when you get snow and a cleansing and Christmas and or whatever you celebrate seasons are beautiful if we refuse to leave a season if we refuse to go into autumn because summer is so rad we never experience the beauty the beauty and the meaning of it. And so you are right where you are supposed to be. You do need a season of aloneness, being by yourself, processing. The asking of the question indicates the misalignment within that would even ask that question about self, would reveal that there is a misidentification of self if we think we perpetually fail. So the asking of the question would say to you, we invite you into the deeper work where you discover who you truly are, where you discover the attractive, beautiful, worthy partner that you are. Because when you align to that, that's when everything adjusts in the world around that. That's how we meet the new person when it's time. It's not time. That's how we have the new job when it's time. That's how we have the new experiences when it's time. I will say your baby doggy, heartbreaky. There's a little heartbreaky energy there. But are you co-parenting with the baby? Is everything okay? Because I feel like some energy around there, um, you could send some golden light energy to the baby. Um, but you're gonna be just fine. You know, you're a warrior woman, right? You often mistake your sensitivities and your sadness and your grief for weakness, when in reality you're a warrior. You are a warrior and you are gonna be just fine. You're gonna be just fine. I see you with a staff and I see you hitting the ground going right here, mine. All of this, 
mine. All of this, me. I create this. And you've got to do that standing on your own. You can't have somebody else come in with the staff and say, hers. No, you, you say that yourself. And so you're on a voyage of discovering the power of who it is that you are. And yeah, Jesus had to go out into the desert, didn't he? Talk to angels, talk to devils, talk to himself probably quite a lot in order to emerge with the mission that he had. The Israelites had to wander around for 40 years, all nuts, all ridiculous, but they had to do that to find their promised land. And so for you, you go into that season of reflection, but know who it is that you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. And so I speak that awareness into you. I speak that beingness into you. Owning that energy, waking up with that energy, dreaming in that energy, creating from that energy, the magician that you are creating from that energy. And I speak into you a swift realignment into the reality of who it is that you are, the clarity of the divine nature, and where we lose our connection, and we do, you, you end up pulling the plug of your connection and ending up in the darker spaces. I speak endless reminders. Endless serendipities, endless synchronicities into the space in the form of people, signs, angels, emissaries, dreams, abilities, friends, food, money. Always reminded that you are infinitely supported. You are right where you are supposed to be. How's that for a reading?